From a single image, can you imagine what the thing would look like if you could walk around the room? Current view synthesis methods only support slight viewpoint changes. One can expand the field of view by impending the missing pixels, but lock the immersive 3D parallax. In this work, we synthesize a consistent video of a 3D scene from a single image. How do we achieve this? Let's start with sampling an image. Roll the dice, we get a random image. Roll the dice again, we get another one. By sampling images from a Gaussian distribution, we can easily generate many images. But this doesn't seem to be very useful. Sampling a realistic image from a data distribution is much more challenging. If we can find a noise to data mapping, we can take a random sample and transform it into a data sample. But this is not easy. The other direction is much simpler. We take a sample from a data distribution and progressively add noise to it until it becomes a pure noise. This process is known as diffusion. Here's another example. Notice that here we create a pass from data sample to a noise sample. If we can somehow traverse this pass backward, we can transform a noise sample back to the data sample. Okay, cool. Let's collect many data samples and create many such paths. Now we have the training data for training a noise predictor network. The noise predictor takes a noisy image and a step on the pass as input and estimate what was the added noise from the previous step. After training, we can use the noise predictor to transform a noise sample to a data sample by following the predicted path. We can use this model to generate high quality samples of random things. But what we really want is a video of a particular thing from a moving camera. To do so, we need to condition our noise predictor with the input image and the relative posts. We use the cross view attention layer for capturing this association. Now we can use the model to generate the first new frame. By changing the relative rotation and translation, we can generate another new frame. We repeat this process until all the frames are generated. This works fine, but the result becomes inconsistent for long range generation. Why is that? Let's take a closer look at cross view attention. Here we have the conditional information and the UNET features. We then compute the attention and use them to update the UNET features. This means that we allow the model to attend every location in the source image. However, for a particular location of the synthesis image, we know the correspondence must lie on an epipolar line. We incorporate this constraint in our cross view attention module. We call this epipolar attention. We found that with epipolar attention, our model generates much more coherent results. How well does it work? We quantify the performance and compare it with the state of the art methods. Our results show better per frame quality and temporal consistency. Let's see some visual results.